Welcome today to A Moment of Faith. I'm Wilson Kirkland, Associate Pastor of Faith Tabernacle Assembly of God. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Psalm 103. Psalm 103, written by David, begins, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. It's a psalm of praise that David wrote, a man who was familiar with difficult times and difficult situations. And yet, in every situation, David was always willing to bless the Lord. The key to this lies in verse 7. Verse 7 says, He made known His ways unto Moses, His acts to the children of Israel. David goes back and he compares the relationship that Moses had with God to the relationship that the children of Israel had. The children of Israel were brought out of Egypt by God's hand, the Bible says by a mighty hand. The children of Israel were in bondage and they saw God deliver them with the ten plagues that He brought to Egypt as He fought with Pharaoh. They got to the Red Sea after their deliverance and they saw God part the Red Sea and make a way for them where there was no way. They came to the wilderness and were thirsty. They saw God give them rivers of water from a rock. They needed food to eat, and God gave them bread from heaven, manna, to satisfy their need. But in every situation that the children of Israel faced, instead of looking to God, they looked at the situation and the circumstances. They got mad at Moses for bringing them to that place. They saw God as a God of acts, as someone who is going to make their situation different, as someone who is going to solve their problem. They didn't know His ways. On the other hand, Moses had learned God's ways. Moses spent 40 years in Egypt. He killed the Egyptian taskmaster and was cast out of Egypt and went to Midian, and there spent 40 more years as a shepherd. Then God appeared to Moses in a burning bush and gave him his commission to deliver Israel. And through all of life's experiences, very difficult experiences, Moses came to a place where he knew God. He knew God's ways. David likewise had many difficult situations and experiences that he faced. And through all of those situations, David was willing to bless God. He wanted to praise God. One of the best examples we see in David's life is in Psalm 34, where David, almost taken captive by a Philistine king, Abimelech, writes, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. In every situation and circumstance David faced, he was ready to praise God because he had learned that those situations and circumstances drew him closer to God. He learned that God was a God of His Word, that God's Word would come to pass. As we face difficulties and trials in our lives, God wants to use those situations to bring us closer to Him, that we might know Him, that we might know His ways. As we fellowship with Him in prayer and in His Word, and as we submit ourselves to His Word and His will in our lives, we come to know Him, to know His ways. He made known His ways unto Moses, His acts to the children of Israel.